Not only does the new season feature plenty of brand new entertainment to enjoy at home, it also features plenty of brand new electronic gadgetry with which to enjoy it. Here's our technology contributor, David Pogue. As recessions go, this last one wasn't pretty. Sales tanked in just about every category, except one, home entertainment. Sales of home theater systems are up 83% over last year. Maybe it's because people just feel safer curled up on the couch at home. Or maybe we're just hungry for a little escapism. Or maybe, after losing their shirts in the stock market, people just want to invest in something they can control. In any case, this fall is going to be a great season for home theater nuts. Let me take you on a tour of some of the most drool-worthy new stuff. Caution, keep credit card in wallet at all times. You know what's wrong with in-flight movies? You watch them on a nine-inch screen, six rows away, while you listen through plastic headphones, the directors would be rolling in their graves. I mean, if they weren't still alive. But if you have a personal DVD player, you get to pick the movie. The screen doesn't chop off the sides of the picture like a TV does. And when you're not traveling, you can hook it up to your television and use it like a regular DVD player. The price, $700 and up. Of course, for me, that's nothing. I take mine everywhere. Aspen, Honolulu, the south of France. Oh, all right. It's not even mine. I rented it from In Motion Pictures, which has booths at major airports. $12 rents you the player, headphones, and the movie of your choice. And you just return it when you land. What do you get when you cross a VCR with a DVD player? This a machine that records video straight onto a blank DVD with spectacular quality. The only problem is what to call it, a DVD-CR? Anyway, there's no tape, so you never fast forward or rewind. Better yet, it always records onto blank areas of the DVD. Never again will you reach for a tape to grab the game, only to discover that you just erased your wedding video. This Panasonic is about $800, this Pioneer costs $600 more, but it includes an input for your digital camcorder. In other words, you can actually make DVDs of your home movies and then sell them to Blockbuster. Of course, none of this gear will do you any good without a TV. A plasma screen like this one is so thin you can hang it on the wall and so gorgeous you could watch it all day even with the power turned off. These massive screens are massively expensive, which is why you've probably seen them only in trade shows, sci-fi movies, and Bill Gates' house. But the prices are dropping, about $2,000 a year. Already, you can pick up one this size for the low, low price of only $8,000. Okay, maybe you don't have that kind of cash on hand now, at least not without selling your car. But look at it this way. Where do you spend more time, in your car or in front of the TV? I rest my case. If you've heard of the TiVo or the Replay TV, it was probably from a friend. Everyone who has one of these things turns into a raving fanatic. It's like a VCR on steroids. You browse these TV listings. When you find something you'd like to record, you just press one button. When the time comes, your show is recorded onto the hard drive automatically. Later, when you've got time for some TV, you get a list of shows like this, shows you've asked for, ready to play back when you are. With a TiVo or a replay, there's never nothing on. You can also play with live TV. Here, I'll show you. First of all, if the phone rings while you're watching, there's a pause button. When you're ready, you just pick up from where you left off. Isn't that cool? The replay TV can even cut out the ads automatically when you play back a show. A feature so controversial, the TV networks have taken the company to court over it. But with or without that feature, watching TV with a replay or a TiVo is addicting. You won't even mind having paid $400 for the box and a one-time $250 for the listing service. Now, you might be getting the impression that all this cool new home entertainment stuff is very expensive. And you're right. But look at the bright side. If everybody runs out to buy all this cool new stuff right now, we'll pump billions of dollars into the economy and presto! Recession? What recession?
Next, familiar faces among the new. In the new seasons, new music. I 